making way for our presenter, Mr. Walter Schwabi from Fuse Logic. And he will be presenting today on using Web 2.0 to build brand online. Thank you, and we'll see you in a bit. Thanks, Rock. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so very much for coming to take a little bit of your time, very precious time, I know, to spend uh, with all of us here today. And hello to everybody uh, around the province. Thank you also for uh, uh, tuning today's in. Today's task is going to be to learn about how we take branding to the next level for your, for your company. So we're going to go through four basic steps. We're going to define branding first. And then after we've done that, we're going to talk about how we take those branding strategies and techniques and philosophies and go global with them using Web 2.0 technology. And then we're going to talk about something that I call building a disruptor blueprint. And then I'll show you some examples as well. So the first question I want you to ask yourself is, who are you today? As a human being, as a corporation, how would you define yourself? Further from that, you need to ask yourself what you stand for. Do you actually know that? Have you ever written it down? What do you stand for as a human being, as a business? Who do you stand for? This is incredibly important information. Was that a question or something? No, that's good. Okay. This is incredibly important information, ladies and gentlemen, that most people, when they go to market and brand their company, completely miss. So, who and what do you stand for? This is who I stand for every single day. This is my wife, this is my daughter. This is the reason I get up every day to do what I do. I'm just lucky enough to have found my complete passion in life in terms of educating business people. It's important to communicate that. People should know why you're doing what you're doing. Is it simply just about selling product and service and generating money, or is it something more important than that? It's really very important to identify that. And why? Because what we need to do through branding, really good branders know that they need to develop an emotional connection. You need to start to think about how you develop emotional connections through what you do that's called branding. And frankly, my opinion is simple. If you're not going to be emotional about this process, then just simply don't bother. Because all of us are inundated with marketing and branding and messages of this nature. So much so, more than any other time in our history are we inundated with this kind of information. So the really smart brands know that this is really about emotional connections with other people and emotional experiences. Experience is the key word there. So I say get emotional or get lost. I don't, mean, I don't just mean hit the road and, and, and hit the bricks. I actually mean that there's so much white noise now in the marketplace that if you're not at least thinking about how you make emotional connections through your branding and marketing, you literally will be lost in the white noise. Nobody's going to care. And when that translates into dollars and cents in your pocket, that's really not a good thing. So we've all seen these kinds of ads and this kind of marketing. I call it ear pollution. It's the kind of stuff that you really want to tune out, turn off, and never see again. It's very rare for us to really get so motivated to get off the couch because there's a, a next big sale, right? I mean, we're just so tired of that kind of thing. We're looking for more intelligent, more emotional connections through our products and brands, things that really inspire us, things that make us say, whoa, that's really cool. And the next discount, just to have a sale for the sake of, well, we've got nothing else to do, so let's just have a weekend sale, doesn't really inspire us as much as it used to. So really, branding should be communicating your soul, purpose on the planet. Now, I'm lucky enough to have found what I, what I consider to be my sole purpose on the planet. So maybe ask yourself the question, are you, what you're doing today or what you're planning to do if you're researching a company, is that aligned with your sole purpose? Do you actually know what that is? And that's, by the way, why it's so important to establish what you stand for. Because you start to identify then what's really actually important. And then building a business and a brand around that 
means that you're much more likely to be successful down the road. If you misalign those two things, it's not certain disaster, but it's heading that so direction. Logic, our one great thing as an example to get you started is we accelerate business leaders. We match 2.0 strategies and tactics with client dreams to shift markets. That's what we do. That's the one thing we do. That's why we show up every day. Okay? So the whole purpose of your online strategy needs to be about generating a gravitational effect, pulling people into your community, pulling them into your, your idea of what life should be as it relates to real estate, and get them to all work together. Now one of the primary problems that people are having right now is that everything they're doing online, uh, whether you're an agent or not, or a realtor or not, or whatever, uh, they're not working in unison. They don't actually have a plan. Okay, So they're just starting to blog and they're just chat. They're joining social networking sites and they're just sort of hanging out. And then they're coming back and going, wow, this takes a lot of time and I really am not getting much back for it. I don't think it works. Well, not the way you're doing it. You need a plan. You need to know why you're doing this. You need to have objectives when you go in. You need to know who you're going to communicate with and how you're going to communicate with them. Are you going to do it just strictly through a blog or are you going to implement things like Facebook as well? So blog plus Facebook plus activerain.com. Okay, things like that.